on this Friday and on the 27th week of ordinary time. Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all is that is held within the circle of heaven. You are the Lord of all. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The peace and grace of God be with you. This morning we, uh, we are graced to have our eighth graders from our old St. Mary's school with us as we uh, celebrate this Mass together. My brothers and sisters, as we gather, let us be mindful that we stand in God's presence, in the loving and compassionate and forgiving presence of God. And asking forgiveness of our sins, we say, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the desires of those who pray to you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give where prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of, of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, call an assembly. Gather the elders and all who dwell in the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry to the Lord. Alas the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness. Like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. 
In the snare they set, their foot is caught. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. Alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test Jesus, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebub that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. The Gospel of the Lord. Our scripture readings today are challenging, to say the least. And uh, this Gospel passage, this passage from the Gospel of Luke, is uh, difficult to comprehend if we don't uh, step back from it and uh, look at the context. Here, Jesus has just healed someone, and the people around Jesus, his, uh, that aren't exactly his friends, we might say they're his enemies, um, they challenge Jesus. Why are you doing that? And then finally accuse him of having done that by, uh, because he is uh, in the hands uh, and the work of Beelzebub, the prince of demons. Well, Jesus then proceeds to explain to them, well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because if there's a demon that is a representative of Beelzebub, the prince of demons within someone, and Jesus uses, Jesus calls that demon out how is that acting like Beelzebub? Because you're working against the work of Beelzebub, the prince of demons. And as Jesus explains, uh, if you go around in the name of Beelzebub calling this evil spirits out of people, how is that serving the work of Beelzebub? That, that house, as Jesus says, will fall because it's working against itself. Well, the people uh, who are challenging Jesus aren't exactly interested in things making sense. They're more interested in denying who Jesus is. They see the work that he's doing, and yet they still deny that he is working in the name of God, that it's the finger of God that is in their midst when he does his healings and his his forgiving of people, his reconciling people. But sometimes we too fail to admit that, there, that the finger of God is present in our world, in our lives. You know, we would sometimes rather see the evil and fail to see the good and to acknowledge that that is God's presence working there. So in this day that we uh, have this kind of complicated reading, we are, we are challenged to um, look for and acknowledge 
the presence of God in our own lives, because sometimes we're so consumed with our own difficulties that we fail to see the good things that's coming about in our lives. And also to see the good, the God working through the lives of other people in their words and in their actions. Because uh, sometimes we just concentrate on the bad, on the things that people do wrong, rather than remembering the things that they do well. And so it's a, it's a call to us to acknowledge and to compliment, compliment and to praise the good, the finger of God that is working in the lives of each one of us. We pray for ourselves and for all of our brothers and sisters that we may always show forth the presence and the love of God into the lives of others. We pray. We pray for all those who are in danger of death from illness or because they might live in a part of the world that knows war and famine. We pray. We pray for all those who come to help others, to come to their aid in, with med medicine and food and, and the loving presence of God, we pray. Amen. We pause now to call to mind those other prayers we bring with us today. For these things we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Frank and for all we promise to hold in our prayers this day. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O oh, gracious and holy God, receive these prayers of your people. Strengthen us and grant us your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. who offer with earth have given and human hands have made, it will become for us our spiritual food. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Christ, sisters and brothers, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. <laughs> Accept, O Lord, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through these sacred mysteries, which we celebrate in dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you were pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the, all the angels and the saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord, you are the source of all holiness, and we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup, chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with apostles, with St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray those words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days, that by, the, <clears throat> by the, your mercy we may be free from all sin and always await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us share with one another some sign of the peace of Christ.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may be nourished and refreshed by the sacrament we have received, so as to be transformed into what we receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of God come upon you and remain with you always, the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of God.